All right, this is a quick tip on how to fill the end of the cylinder. Um, so let me delete this cube here, and we'll create a cylinder. And let me just show you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the vertices for the cylinder is 32. You want to keep this even for this method to work. There is a workaround if you have odd, and I guess I can show you both ways. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep this even here. You can f you can choose your cap type on your um, cylinder, and so there's I think everybody knows what an hengon is, but um, and so you, or you can choose like triangle fan. Anyway, uh, triangle fans are bad because you've got up here on your face count here you've got 32. Uh, you've also got uh, your edges there. Um, that are all going to this vertex point. Well, that's called a pull, and uh, this is just a really inefficient topology for a game model, and it's not what you want. And so I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. And also, uh, just another quick tip here: if you just select the edge ring and you um, mark the seam, then when you select the face and hit Control L, it's just an easy way of, of using um, seams to make selections. So anyway, we'll delete that as well. Okay, so when I used to use other programs like Maya and XSI and stuff um, when I was making games, um, anyway, I, I'd want to fill in a cylinder here, and so I, what I would do is I would just take, you know, the edges, and I would start to just fill them in. And if you do it right, uh, you won't, and you have even numbers like that, you won't end up with any triangles. You'll get all quads. Um, but that's uh, you know, very time consuming. And I'm not saying that XSI or Maya didn't have a, a quicker way of doing it. Um, I probably just didn't know about it. Like I didn't know about Blender until just recently. Anyway, so let me just show you how this works. So what you can do is just take the edge here, select this edge, and then hit Control F to go to your faces menu and then select grid fill. And then this is not what we want. You can see up here for faces we got 55, which is even worse than the triangles. But we have a you can, down here in the bottom of your tool shelf, you've got span, or you can just press F6. You get the same options. Anyway, you can drag this down to 1, and as you can see, Blender will do a marvelous job of creating your uh, all your quads there on the end of your cylinder. And that is optimal topology. Um, I mean, it's, it's good topology and it's optimized, so you can't really beat 15 faces to fill in the end of that. All right, so uh, let's do this. Um, let me just go up here and say new, reload the startup file, and uh, we'll delete that, and we'll make a cylinder, and oh, the tool shelf, we'll do 31. All right, and then we'll just say nothing, just save a step here. All right, so it, what happens if you use this technique it, you, you see what happened there? It says select two edge loops. Um, it's kind of cryptic response for what's happening here, but it's basically saying that it's not even and it can't, it can't do it. So, what you would do in this circumstance is you would just take one of these little edges here and you would just subdivide it. And uh, anyway, then now you've got the correct number, and you can do your grid fill and then drop the span over there. All right. So that's a that's a workaround, but you know, it's just better to keep your uh your cylinders uh even that way you can um use mirror and uh work on a quarter, you know, of your cylinder and and repl you know, um and and mirror it across the x and the y if you're doing that or whatever. So I, I like to just keep my stuff even. Anyway, I don't make this too long. So that that's what I have to show and hopefully that helps somebody uh, in their modeling. Hopefully it speeds things up.